You've received your package of bees and now we're ready to install it into our hive equipment. We do this late afternoon just on dusk to prevent the bees that we're installing from drifting badly to one colony over another. We'll demonstrate two methods of installing a package. One will be a direct release, the other one will be a slow release. So we've got a, the uh, bee box here all prepared with the frames, the frame feeder with sugar syrup full. We've got the package here, we'll take the sugar syrup container out carefully, not to spill any, put it just out of the way, reach in and grab the queen, which will be hanging on the, in the cage just near the top. You can see the queen is in a cage underneath all those bees. We might just place her just on the edge here. We'll take the cap off the queen cage so as to expose some queen candy. Put the cap over there on top of the feeder. And now we've got the package here full of bees. Just carefully turn it upside down and we'll just roll it back and forth. You can see all the bees falling out of there. So we'll just give it a bit of a shake. Because it's night time, these bees are going to crawl rather than fly, which is what we want them to do. Just tap them on the ground. Now the queen substance should be reasonably strong in this package, so I'm hoping that the bees out in front here will crawl into the hive. Job done. So now we'll, we've got all the bees in the bottom of the box here. We'll just put these frames carefully back in, just rocking them back and forth so as not to scratch or to kill too many bees. Doing everything fairly quickly. We've got the queen cage here with the queen on her own. We just put this between a few of the frames so the bees can get access to her. Put the inner cover over the top. Not totally necessary, but. And then we've got it ready. Now the bees here will find their way in. They'll cluster around the queen. In the next couple of days, that queen will be um, released out of the cage by the bees. The bees will settle down to rhythm. And I must emphasize it's important to continue feeding sugar syrup to packages once you've introduced them to a hive. Until that hive has a number of frames of sealed honey and sealed brood, keep feeding them sugar syrup once or twice a week. So I've still got my smoker lid. I'm going to demonstrate another method that is quite successful. It's a slow release method. We've taken the tin of syrup out and we've just put it next to the hive. I retrieved the queen cage from inside the hive, so it probably is a good idea to have gloves. And I've placed the queen on top here of the frames. Just take the um, little protective cap out but not releasing the queen. The queen's still in the cage. So the queen is in the cage on her own, which is fine. And what we've done, we'll do is just turn this package over, like such, on top of the queen. Oh. And we'll place a super over the top. What we need to do is have another box on top of that. So in this case, the package is too big for one box. So we place the second box over that hive there. So we've got it nicely sealed in now. And those pack bees will come out of the package into the brood box and the frames downstairs. Tomorrow morning, when it's the sun comes up, we'll come back and hopefully all the bees have marched out of the package and into the frames down here. We'll take this box and this box off and take the package away.